This DVD has been made with you, the viewer, in mind. It's not meant to be flashy or razzle-dazzle, but rather an easy to follow, hopefully well explained guide to trimming a particular breed. The methods shown and opinions expressed are purely my own. Others may do things differently. The filming, editing, graphics and music have been done by a group of young, enthusiastic postgraduates who we wanted to give a chance to put their studies and skills into practice. So we hope you enjoy it and learn from it. Hello and welcome to Abfab Training. Today's DVD will feature the Kerry Blue Terrier. This is Clara. She's just over two years old. Today I hope to transform this hairy object into a nicely trimmed Kerry Blue Terrier. One thing I would like to point out before we begin this is just my method of trimming. There are many, many different ways of doing this trim, but it's just my method. I'm going to brush Clara's coat out. We're going to use a slicker brush, a soft one that's got the cushioning behind it. Just brush gently through the coat, all over. Kerry Blues don't molt, but they do retain dead hair in the coat, which has to be removed. If not, it will form mats eventually. And the only thing you can do in that situation, out of kindness to the dog, is to actually cut them out. I'm not a great believer in severe dematting. I think it's unnecessary. It's a result of ne neglect of the coat. And... I'm not terribly interested in putting the dog through that. Good brush through. A couple of times a week as a maintenance exercise with Kerry's. I'm just going to go through the coat. I have a wide toothed comb here for this. This will just separate the coat nicely and make sure we haven't got any mats or tags or twigs or dead coat. Good girl. Good girl. Repeat it on the other side. Just go gently through with the slicker. They always sound terrible, these brushes, as though they're ripping hair out, but they're actually not. There's very little that's come out. Make sure you don't neglect all the places that are notorious for matting, which is all of this area under here in the armpits, the beard. Quite often we find mats in the armpits because it is an area of friction where one part of the body rubs against another. To prevent that happening it is useful to just clip out this little area under the armpit. It just stops the problem arising in the first place. 